Do you do 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 you remember it didn't rain forever in the fifties? Do you remember that oh, as yeah. a kid? The I remember that. Yeah, I mean, not one drop of rain. I would uh, I, I I would go. I was before that started. I would I would uh, God, I just loved it. Uh, I had a, an uncle, um, and uh, uh, he had a he had a <laughs> he had a ranch. Uh, out by San Angelo, and I would go out there. I just, I mean, wow, so cool, way out in the boonies, right? And um, the, um, uh, I, you know, it's just, it was just magic to me. And so I wanted to go back the next year. The next year is when the drought started, and uh, <clears throat> so I. Um, I go back out there, and this time uh, my aunt is is making these these little f uh, flower displays uh, out of copper wire and and dyed hosiery, and I thought that was really cool. So I started helping her do it, and my uncle was was incensed by this. Yeah, this is, clearly I'm a fag, right? So. He, he suddenly will have nothing to do with me. And, um, um, and then one day he slyly says to me, I hear that when you were two or so, you used to ride cows. Well, there are pictures of me riding on the back of a milk cow at two or three years of age. So um, I said, oh, yeah. And uh, uh, he said, well, next weekend, we're going to ride some cows. Would you like to come? And I said, sure. <laughs> so we go over to another guy's branch, and um, there's this, uh, 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 it's not full, full grown yet, but it's, it's this big gray thing with a hump on its back. And they've got a, a band, I, I said, why do you have the bandana over its eye? He said, well, it, it gets spooked. And I said, okay. And so I said, so we want you to ride this one. And they had a rope around its uh, neck and, you know, so that you could hold on to it. And I said, okay. So they put me on, uh, they put me on the, uh, on the, uh, oh, I, they said, so you climb up on the fence and then you straddle it and we'll take the bandana off. And okay. So they took the bandana off and this creature just went bananas. It was just leaping all over the place. I, you know, and the the, uh, the guy started screaming, "Get off! Get off!" I was about to get off this creature. <laughs> I mean, it seemed to me the safest place to be was right behind that hump, holding on to, to this rope. And uh, at one point, I guess I got close to a fence because a gigantic arm reached out and scooped me off the animal. From then on, I got 50 cents every Saturday <laughs> to spend any way I wanted. <laughs> and I was okay until the, uh, 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 the th third year I was out there. Now it hadn't rained for two years. And my uncle, we were having a, oh God, that was one of the reasons I loved going there because they were old fashioned Germans. And so they ate five times a day. They had breakfast, and then we had coffee cake at 10, and then we had lunch, and then we had coffee cake at 4, and then we had dinner. It was, it was like heaven. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, so we, uh, uh, he's, we're having, uh, it's afternoon, and uh, so we're having uh, coffee and coffee cake in the afternoon, and the wind comes up. So he tells me to go out and turn off the windmill because the, the trough is full. And um, he doesn't want to waste water, right? So I go out there. It's not complete. It's not. It's close. It's not full yet. It's not running over the sides, right? So it's got this giant wood handle on it, and I'm taking off and landing in Paris, taking off and landing in Berlin, taking off and landing in London. It's a giant airplane. I'm having a wonderful time, and lightning strikes. B blows me right to the ground. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, so I, 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 I get up, I'm, I'm in shock. I, it, it was very weird. I felt ice cold. I just, it was just a, an odd sensation. And so I'm sort of walking in a daze back to the house and I touch the, uh, uh, the steel gate and it's even colder. It's just, I mean, it's really icy feeling. And I burst into tears. My uncle never spoke to me again <laughs> for crying after being struck by lightning. And I wasn't invited back again.